this is Zach Bagans from Ghost Adventures, and you are listening to the ghost host, Sophia Temporilli, on LiveParanormal.com. I'm Sophia Temporelli, reporting live from Scare LA for the Hollywood Horror Museum. We're here with Joey Fatone and Chris Kirkpatrick from InSync, here to promote their new sci-fi show, Dead 7. Yes. So can you both tell me a little bit about how you got the role on Dead 7? Well, believe it or not, um, it actually came up with Nick Carter from Backstreet Boys. He kind of came up with this idea of having these like uh, boy bands, if you will, with zombies in a western kind of setting. So uh, he called me up, kind of asked me, hey, what do you think about the script? I'd love to be a part of it. You think Chris and a couple of the other guys would be, you know, down to do it? Called up Chris. Chris was like, yeah, we got Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees, some of the guys from O-Town, uh, obviously three guys from Backstreet. So it, it, it went on and on, and it's, it's kind of how it started. And we just uh, had fun doing it, and it was on Sci-Fi uh, April 1st uh, of this past, what, whatever, this year, obviously. So now it's been on, uh, on Amazon for selling out for DVDs and stuff. So it's fun. It's been cool. So... Can you tell us about your characters and your role in this show? I play, I play, I play Whiskey yeah. Joe. I play Whiskey Joe. It's basically pretty just what it says. He's a guy who loves his whiskey and he loves killing zombies, and that's kind of his his thing. But you actually have a good role because you're the one that lures us into it and kind of kills us. Um, well, it was like a mayor slash major. I don't know what it eventually became, but in general, it could be anything. But uh, yeah, my guy's just like starts out the movie and. They kind of get like, I'm the one that's like trying to save my town, and then I kind of die quick, and you never see me again. That's it. I'm, really, I'm a real shallow character. He well, just wants to die. He likes to die. <laughs> it reminds me of the zombies not buried from Call of Duty, so that's pretty cool. Yes, yes it does. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Didn't think about that. Yeah, I love that map, so it's really cool. So what is the development of your character from when you start seeing the zombies to, you know, when you die or when you um, keep going? Well, for me, as far as the character's concerned, you know, he, he's, he's the one that kind of wrangles the, the Dead Seven guys. It's a, it's a, it's a group of, of people of kind of like these outlaws that know how to fight well and, and deal with zombies. So Mayor gets a hold of actually the deputy, which is played by John Sakata. John Sakata comes to me and says, hey, I'm looking for a bunch of different guys. You want the gig? Let's find out. So it's like I wrangle up Vicaro. He's actually kind of like the string that holds it all together, and he's the drunk guy, which kind of makes the movie cool. Like everybody's relying on Joey. He keeps everybody, or his character, keeps everybody together, and like they're always, he's the steady flow of the movie, even though he's drunk. Interesting to see all these different people. And basically, his character for Whiskey Joe, you know, it's just him realizing that, you know, you're going to die sometime, in a sense, and might as well go out in style, and that's kind of what he does in the film. He kind of blows himself up, so you got to check it out. <laughs> Is there anything that uh, the director did to elicit a reaction, you know, while there's zombies chasing you to give you more of that fear factor? Just act. Or someone's eating you. Pretend like you're getting eaten. Or I, I got nervous because there's one part where I have to light these panties on fire in a, in a bottle, and I had to throw it over the camera guy's head. That, for me, only was one of the scariest things, I think, just because I didn't want to hurt anybody. I think it was cool just seeing all the different zombies and what they had. They had one zombie that somebody broke a bottle on his head, and then the bottle was, like, smashed into his face and all that stuff. Like, you see that and in the makeup chair every day watching these guys get created and go from being, like, a normal person to this zombie creature was just fun, and that made it easy for me because I was scared to death when I saw it. The crazy thing about it is, too, is those guys, it's only two makeup artists that they had there. Obviously, we're working with a lower budget. And the stuff that, and the stuff that came, it came in creative out of it, because literally it was like the director came in and said, all right, he needs to just be zombified but make him, like, really detailed. And they'll make the zombie really detailed with the glass and all that, which was really cool. But to be able to do it that fast, I mean, I give him a lot of credit for it. So uh, where can we find this movie? Where can uh, the audience go and buy it? Amazon.com. on Amazon right now, I think. And... Uh, I think the DVD is available. They still sell DVDs. You can buy it. You can rent it. Whatever. It's on, it's on Sci-Fi. I think maybe it's on pay-per-view. I don't know. It's on Amazon.com. It's where they're, where they're selling them now. And actually today, after the panel, supposedly they're going to be uh, viewing uh, the, the film, Dead 7, so you guys can watch it here. Very cool. And I, you're missing out on. <laughs> I know you have more interviews, but I am a paranormal broadcaster, so I was just wondering, have either of you had any paranormal experiences? I've never had of you. Normal experiences? Oh, I think I see ghosts all the time. I see dead people. No, not really. I don't think so. 
I get scared all the time. Does that count? I thought it was Here paranormal. I've been scared all the time. This thing scares me. What People jump out of the woodwork. I thought it was paranormal, but it was actually an uh, earthquake uh, in Japan. We were, yeah, no, we were in Japan. Uh, had a little earthquake and the thing was moving. Uh, the Do Not Disturb sign was moving. I thought it was some paranormal activity. Maybe you were. Oh man. I should have been. Well, I want to thank you both so much for allowing me to interview you, and I can't wait to see Dead Seven. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet.